What do many fragrances, deodorizers, flavorings, and even drugs have in common? The answer lies in the tiny hole inside cyclodextrin, a ring-shaped molecule made of naturally occurring sugars. When it's used in deodorizers, the hole inside cyclodextrin can trap unwanted odor molecules. When it's used in drugs, the hole can carry medicines that can then be delivered to the affected part of the body. Cyclodextrin has a natural ability to trap other molecules because on the inside, it's hydrophobic or water repellent. And on the outside, it's hydrophilic, meaning it's attracted to water. With its characteristic donut shape, cyclodextrin acts as a host that encapsulates guest molecules inside the donut hole. When host and guest molecules bind together loosely through weak intermolecular forces, they form a supramolecule. The challenge is to create useful molecular host with spaces large enough inside to surround the target guest molecule. At Tokyo Tech, Researchers, including Dr. Masahiro Yamashina, are at the forefront of this emerging field of supramolecular chemistry. We are exploring how to construct new types of supramolecules, and we want to know more about the known spaces inside these supramolecules. This is a real hot topic of this research area. I first got interested in this field by learning from Professor Michito Yoshisawa here at Tokyo Tech. I was inspired by the beauty of the supramolecular chemistry. Instead of just two-dimensional line drawings, it's fascinating to study molecules as elegant 3D structures. Already at Professor Yoshizawa's laboratory, researchers are making tremendous progress in the development of new nanocapsules and cages, using methods that go far beyond the simple way that cyclodextrin works. Some of these new nanocapsules can improve the stability and efficiency of raw materials delivery in the chemical manufacturing industry. Dr. Yamashina and his colleagues have even developed capsules that can trap fluorescent dyes to make a new type of material that could go on to be used in light-emitting devices and biosensors. Most recently, we developed an antiromotic supermolecule, a type of nano cage no one has ever built before. So far, many researchers have built supramolecules using aromatic walls. But it's much more difficult to do this using anti-aromatic walls because they're so reactive and unstable. To get around this problem, the team took a hint from a compound reported by Professor Hiroshi Shinokubo at Nagoya University in Japan in 2012. This compound, called Norcorol, was exactly what the team was looking for. Working with Professor Jonathan Nitschke at the University of Cambridge, we overcame so many difficulties during this project. I'll never forget the moment we succeeded when we got the visual confirmation of the nano cage. Even though we have different cultures and backgrounds, all of us are united by a passion for chemistry. This achievement is a world first for supramolecular chemistry. The researchers were interested in the magnetically unique environment inside the nano cage. Compared to having aromatic walls, anti-aromatic walls had been predicted to enhance the opposite magnetic field inside the nanospace. But this had never been experimentally shown until now. You could think of it as an egg. With a standard aromatic wall cage, we know what to expect. There is a simple process for transformation. But with an antiromotic wall cage, something else happens. And we don't know what that is yet. It's so exciting because it could lead to new and unexpected phenomena. 
encapsulating molecules with other molecules opens up so many possibilities. Nanosized species have the power to modify the properties of the molecules. These molecules change their appearance under the influence of the enclosed space. As supermolecular chemists, we can design and construct a nano-environment for molecules. So, in a sense, we are non-space designers. Even though the spaces we work with are very, very tiny, the possibilities of enriching human society are enormous. That's why I'm continuing to explore the wonders of supermolecules.